Greetings, beautiful soul tribe. Greetings. I thought I'd channel into you, you today. It's a very special day. It's a 111 portal, 11123. So I thought I'd say hey and see how everyone is doing. Um, the last couple of days, there's been so much energy, so many solar flares hitting Earth, and we have been feeling it. For those of you who are empaths, you know what I'm talking about. You've been extra tired, um, more sensitive than usual, so you have been secluding yourself in your bubble, <laughs> as I have as well. So today is a day to bring in abundance. And whenever you reach this message, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's today, a year from now or whatever, it's a reminder. This is a reminder to feel it, to heal it, feel it, to bring it in, to manifest it, and to allow what no longer serves you to dissolve. Because when we are on our path and we are um, we are moving to different levels of ascension, different phases, not saying leveling up or leveling down, it's a phase. Um, sometimes the energies do not, um, cannot merge and go with you. Um, and this, this speaks for people in our lives. This speaks for like old baggage that we hold as we're trying to ascend and the baggage that we hold can be um, old programming, old, old thoughts, old emotions that have been unresolved and need healed. So during this time right now that I'm channeling into you, Mercury is in retrograde and it's bringing up a lot of emotions. So now we have to remember that the emotions that, we, that are coming in uh, are for us to heal. It's nobody's fault. It's us. It's it's these are lessons that are being um, experiences that are being provided to us so that we can see. And it doesn't really um, target any anyone anything specific. These are just energies, entities that need to be resolved within ourselves. And we have to, um, in order to pillar continue pillaring up, we have to allow ourselves to feel it to heal it. And identi identify with awareness that what's being shown to us is for us to go inside and go to the root. Maybe somebody's triggered you in the recent, in the most recent moments, and you feel like all oh, this emotion, this anger, anxiety is is towards them. However, this is a, a light, your, your current lifetime that's been built up of emotion that's been unhealed and unresolved. Um, and that needs to be resolved. So be gentle on yourself and allow yourself to feel these emotions and really take yourself further back to where the root is, not where the blooming where you, you bloomed, weeded, where you weeded out these emotions in the current, where they, they're they making you feel angry, frustrated. They're being brought up to you to heal and it doesn't feel good. It's very low vibration. You need to, this is the, the weeds. This is what was sprouted from the root of wherever this, this issue may have occurred. And it could go back in time. It could go back um, to like, maybe you had a boss that treated you like shit and, and, um, made you feel some type of way less than maybe you had friends in your life that didn't value and honor um, you as 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 your beautiful um, your beautiful essence maybe you've had an ex that didn't treat you well and you're healing through that or maybe you didn't treat your ex well and you're healing through that and all these emotions of regret guilt fear are coming up to be um, to be healed, to be resolved. And we have to be grateful for this time because, and we have to use this energy um, to help us blossom into the flowers that we are. Yes, flowers that we are. We're not weeds. Weeded, uh, weeds, I I feel weeds are sprouted from, the, um, not weeds in general, but weeds are sprouted from unhealed, unhealed um, emotions. So in order to shift and, and, and shift your energy, because whenever 
your metaphor, whenever weeds are, are around something that's blossoming, usually the weeds can overtake the bloom, the blossom. So we have to pluck it at the root and find out what's really bothering us. You know, what's really challenging us? How can we do better, be better, feel better? And sometimes it can be, um, I feel like it could be a panic for help. Um, it could be, and and we're not really sure what what to feel, how to clear it, how to heal it, um, what to do. And what I'm here to tell you is, you know, we have to go inside and be gentle on ourselves. Go inside and, and give ourselves love. This is how it's the process starts. And today in meditation, I was sending so much love to all my friends and my family members and all those who maybe didn't work in my life for the greater good that I've learned from. I sent love to each and every one of them. And I was able to really see the faces of the energy that I was sending love to. And I was thanking the universe for the experience, for the lessons that I had was and and. And even more so, I was thankful to the people who helped me, guide me on my path because of the situations that I was in or and you guys have been in in the past has directed us on in our present now, in this awakening, in this healing journey, in this wounded warrior phase, you know, healing, healing and allowing our scars to be shown allowing ourselves to be sensitive, allowing ourselves to be expressive, allowing ourselves to really just be our authentic self. Sometimes it's difficult to find your authentic self when you're holding back. So being healthy with how you uh, interact with others, coworkers, bosses, family members, friends, it's so important to make sure that you are speaking with love and speaking your truth. Because when you do this, you could be awakening the other energy saying, oh my God, I, I get it, I feel it, I see it. And it's helping each other. This is why we're here. We're here to raise the frequency, shine the light. We're here to express our feelings with love, with light. Um, and one thing that I've learned is not having expectations. That was the thing that I've actually learned last year. Um, having, and Sharam has taught me that, having no expectation is the best way to go on with your life because whenever we have an expectation, it can create a blockage if your expectations aren't met or it can actually limit your direction if you're expecting um, a certain having a, a certain expectation and a different outcome comes in or that out that outcome of your expectation is is of a frequency lower than what kind of originally came in follow me did i say that right <laughs> i've been clearing a lot i've been having some um some clearing in my ears some buzzing ringing uh, uh cramping uh, and I know it's alignment. I know that our bodies are coming in to alignment in, in very special ways and each of us are different. And we have to honor and trust the process. And I know sometimes it may seem difficult. It may seem challenging. You may wanna give up and say, shit, this journey is not for me, but it is. We are here to take the journey. We are on our soul journey. We are here to do the work. It's not, it, it doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult because when we learn to navigate with the roller coaster of, of energies that are are here and people, the unawakened, the, the still the sleepy, the sleepy ones are still living their life. They don't uh, consciously get to feel the emotions that we're going through. We're here to transmute the energy and raise our frequency and we transmute our energy. We don't have to worry about just uh, like everybody else yet. You know, first, our first main focus is ourselves and it's not being selfish. It's not being, it's being selfless. It's really connecting with yourself and learning how to navigate. Did you see that orb? Learning, learning how to navigate with your heart. Learning how to navigate even to your heart, within your heart. 
being present here. And then we connect up to spirit, to source, and we we are grounded to earth, the earth star, Gaia, Mother Earth, and we become the collective. Then we branch out to others and we help where we can, doing the best we can with what we have. So I want you guys to be kind to yourself. I want you guys to really, really love yourself, really know that it's okay to feel these feelings, feel anxiety, feel anger, feel frustration, feel feel any any low vibration that, that it's, it's here for us to see, to heal it. We got to feel it, to heal it. And then we let it go. We do not keep it. Sometimes you can be, um, or people can be, um, addicted to that feeling of that, that anger. And it feels good just to get mad. And it does, but you have to be very careful because that anger, it, it, it creates some kind of energy where you're like, woo, it feels good. And then it becomes projecting or then it, be, it can become toxic for yourself because everything you omit out, it comes back. So it's, it's the mirror effect. So what we do is we send out love and compassion and be like, dang, I'm frustrated. You know, this didn't really go as uh, what I how I thought it would go. But I thank the universe for showing me patience, for showing me that I can communicate, by showing me, you know, knowing when to walk away. You know, like I've, I've had that with a job. You know, it's like when... Um, when you're at a job and your managers just don't just don't hear you and you're very very blunt with like what how you're communicating and it's like hey I got all these great ideas let me help you da, 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 da. and and the managers are are doing their 3D shit <laughs> I walked away from a job like that you know it was really it was a toxic situation so if you're dealing with that at work um Know when to walk away. Know when to cut your energy cord from your boss, from your coworkers that may be bringing you down. And know that the shift in energy when you honor your truth and yourself, it's gonna, you're going to expand. You're going to make a big change in your energy saying that, you know, I surrender to the universe because I know there's always, there's a plan for me. So things may not have always worked out the way I thought it would, because I know the universe has something better. And doesn't that make you feel better? Just thinking of that. And our job, remember, is to keep our vibration up. It's really easy to go down the rabbit hole and, and bring your energy down. So easy to just do that. And all it takes is like, just uh, your thoughts. <laughs> like not even just your thoughts, even like watching on TikTok the wrong, um, the wrong information, the wrong, um, or listening to the wrong podcast, doing the wrong meditations, you know, that could bring you down. So you have to shift your, your, your mind, your words, which you project out to best case scenario, effortlessly and easily. Things always work out no matter what. So this has helped me in my life, on my journey. And sometimes it's just like, it's remembering to remember. So I've been going through this kind of, this, these stages. Um, and, and it's so, it's been very um, up and down as we all have been going through, but so healing and activating because I take full responsibility for my energy full responsibility for what energy that I allow to come into my space. And when I'm saying this, my heart is like, it sends bursts out of just like an energy ship. It does. So honor your, honor yourself for one, love yourself, give yourself that love, Pat yourself on the back how amazing you've done this past year and how far you've come and, and how much healing you've done, all the work, the inner work you've done. Yes, we feel like we, we're sometimes stagnant or stuck or, or, or we're feeling some form of lack. That's totally normal, but we need to smack ourselves out of it, smack ourselves out of it because that's our ego saying, hey, do more, be more, 
more, more, more, more, more. And that's, then there, then you become feeling like, um, the not enough, the greediness. We, we, we do not want to be in the greediness feeding off of, off of, um, these energies of, of lack, like when the universe provides exactly what we need all the time, effortlessly, repetitively, abundantly. And then to feel a form of lack, it's almost a mix of energies, like kind of like um, your parents giving you um, or buying you this, this gift that they felt that it was going to, it was something you needed and they thought you wanted it. And then you receive the gift and you're like, oh, thank you for the gift, but I want more. I want this plus I want the Barbie plus the Barbie doll house and the car. So the universe comes back and gives you this. And then you're like, well, thank you for this. But I really want the upgraded Barbie house. Like it's not enough. You become, you can become greedy of not enough. And we have to find that balance. Thank the universe for everything you have. Thank you. If you feel it's the little, the littlest things, thank the universe for having. And the universe will provide you with more, 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 more. Wanting to gift you. Everything will be aligning for you. We're removing blockages within ourselves. So whenever we're doing that, and I know I'm jumping subjects, but I got a lot of different energies that are coming in that I'm feeling. Um, as we are raising our frequency, as we're jumping timelines, as we're shifting our reality, um, there's just so much healing and clearing that's needing to be done. Our old programming is removed, is removing. We're allowing this to, this, and it's, it could be fearful to let go of what's comfortable, to let go of the systems we were taught. I know, I've done it, I felt it. And sometimes I still feel bits and bobs of, of like, of the scarce feeling of, of letting go of that. But I know I snap in, I change my, my, my view, my, I shift my vibration into knowing that everything is always working out for me in my favor. The universe is always, 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 always has my back. But, um, but, but when we're in that shift, um, uh, uh, um, What's the word? When you're in the shift of, uh, I guess you're transforming our energy. Sometimes we just, uh, we're like, I'm pulling information out, like how I felt. Um, it's a feeling of the unknowing. It's a mix of a rush of like taking one step forward. But as the energies change, it's like, it's time to take a leap of faith. It's time to have a leap of faith instead of one step forward. Have that leap of faith. Knowing and knowing like with everything in you that everything is always working out. Best case scenario, everything is always working for you. And whenever, and we use this, this mantra. So whenever these energies start hitting us and, and our old uh, beliefs and our old emotions that were unhealed hit us, we use that to for our advantage and we go in and and seek guidance and ask for help call in your angels call in your guides and say show me show me what needs to be healed what do i need to release what cords what what are toxic in my energy that i need to let go of let me feel it and see it so i can release it and heal it it works it works and you may even feel like hooks coming out of your back and i was pulling a couple of them out of my back right here um, yesterday and a couple today. So I'm like, ah, oh. so these are just energy. Don't nothing. It's nothing to be scared of. It's just energy, energy that's been transferred over to you. And, um, you just release it. You just let it go. It's kind of like we're fish and we, there's a hook, there's a hook on us and then more hooks from other energies, entities. And we just got to take them out. Release what no longer serves us. Ask for help. Our guides are um, Archangel Michael. He's really amazing at removing any cords or, or hooks, letting that shit go. Um, but yeah, for, for the most part, be kind to yourself. Um, whatever's being shown to you, 
it's for you to see. And if people are out there giving you a mirror or being that mirror for you to see what you need to heal, be grateful for that. Be grateful for that because you, you need to see it. You need to feel it to heal it. And um, yeah, and that's what I did today. I, I just shifted everything. But the whole energy shifted when I went into meditation and I sent so much love to everybody that's helped me on my journey to like, and, and not even feeling like the journey of good or bad, just the journey of unconditional love. Because if we look back and you want to say, yeah, that ex was a piece of work. He treated me like this. She treated me like this, however, whatever, however it goes. And, um, and you can put the blame on how the relationship went. And then you could, you could still, you'll still have that blockage within you. Instead, what you do is you transmute that. And how you transmute that is like, it's like, you know what? The, you bring the good times in. You don't bring the good times in to rekindle. You don't bring, you bring it in to heal. So you have to know that balance because you don't want to be like, oh my God, it was so great. And we don't go back. But um, <laughs> but it's like, you know, you bring in that love. And it's like, you know what? Thank you for teaching me the lessons I needed to learn. Thank you for the beautiful experiences and the not so not so good feeling experiences that helped me change, that helped me grow, that helped me find what I was looking for, that led me, that steered me in the direction to where I needed to go. Thank you. And I'm so grateful. I wish you well. I send you love. I disconnect. I remove the cords. And that's it. Like as you send me, you send them love and light. And, and my heart was just so. It's a feeling of so much excitement and stillness. So it's kind of like, like getting excited because uh, I don't know what it, what it was exciting. Like, oh, you know, you're going to see your grandchild or whatever. And you're like, yeah, I'm excited. You know, I'm going to have the whole day. And you feel that emotion. Or you're going to see somebody very special. You have that feeling in your heart and you're super excited. You know, I just felt that emotion in my heart. And I was like, I was so full of all I saw was white light. In my meditation, just white light around me. And this feeling was like pink. And I'm going there like right now. I'm just, uh, and I'm breathing. And it just feels so amazing. It felt so amazing to send love to my past, my future, and my present. It did. I didn't want to come out of the meditation. And I stayed there over an hour just sending this energy. And I didn't feel drained by sending this energy because we're sending love. And when we send love, we receive it back. It just works like that. What else? I'm just so grateful to be here. Um, and for all the people who tune in and watch this and it helps you, I love you all. I do the best I can with what I have. And I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful for all the friendships that I've, I've brought in through this channel um, and the connections, the emails. I'm so grateful for uh, your friendship um and yeah if you're booking a session um email me i will get back to you sometimes it takes about 24 hours or so to get that uh to get back to you so um and i do work with um different time zones um in either way we will connect the universe aligns for us and it will always work out so if you're looking for a session or a friend holler over um there's plenty of space here to, to connect and to share, you know, with love and light. And um, we just need to start coming together. Soul Tribe, you know who you are. We need to start coming together and and we build our, our, our even though it's a community online, it doesn't matter. It, it's building that love, remembering the connection, remembering the learning, you know, that activations of, of connection and support. And it's been really a great honor while being in Greece, um, physically finding Soul Tribe and attending like ceremonies and going to full moon um, parties and just sitting around a fire, just you know, connecting with a community. And when I say a community, guys, a community, find a community near you 
where there's more like-minded souls like you. And when you are in the frequency of being magnetic, they'll find you. It works. And I know this because it's happened. Um, you will, you'll be magnetic to soul tribe and you'll know their soul tribe because you just like, it's just, it flows. It just flows. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been really nice. It's been a great experience here. Um, I'm learning a lot. I, um, and a lot of, a lot of lessons, a lot of, um, a lot of emotions I felt I've been feeling while being here that I would have normally never felt while being back home, <laughs> you know? So um, using me being me, using the energy and working with it has really taught me so much. So I'm very grateful to be a part of your soul tribe, to to reconnect with you all. And, um, but yes, find a community near you and get out, get out and talk to some people. It's okay and it's safe to come out now and be who you are and, and, and talk your crazy talk. Your crazy talk is no longer crazy. It's not. We are the ones. We, <laughs> the energy has shifted where we are, um, <sighs> there's, you'll see the energy has shifted where I want to say there's more of us than there are of the, the others. Yeah. So just find your tribe and and um, have no expectations. Be open, be open. Because some people are like, okay, this is the kind of soul tribe I want. It's gonna be like this, this, and this. Yes, you wanna set your intention, but you wanna be non-judgment. You wanna just be open to what the universe brings to you and build from that. But yeah, I'm so lucky to all the people that's uh, entered into my life. I'm so grateful. Um, when you find a community of friends that really vibrate with you, it's magical. Like you can be in a room of like 10 people and everyone, including yourself, is having different conversations, um, but they're all very interesting. And then you, so you're talking to your friends over here, a little group over here, and then you're like, oh, I got to go to the restroom. And you come back and on your way back, you're like, there's another group of people that you stop and have a conversation with. And it's all just natural. It's all natural and you're a part of something. So <laughs> my sister once thought that a community was, uh, and I won't say which sister, a community was kind of like a cult. And it's so crazy because people over here, like the, um, the, the villagers, I'm sure, even the young community, I'm seeing dots of white <laughs> as I'm saying this. The young community thinks um, the young or the young, uh, the young ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm really working on how to say this the right way um, without not never wanting to ever, ever be offensive. But uh, uh, they're like, where we go when we, when we're all together, they feel also feel like, is that a cult? Because they don't know any better. No, it's a group of friendships. Do you guys remember the civic centers? See, I don't know if you guys had it in your area. I did when I lived in California. We had the Civic Center. And the Civic Center was a place where kids would go. They'd play ping pong. It's kind of, I guess it's kind of like the YMCA. I've never been, but that's the only thing that comes up, that channels through. But um, the Civic Center. And then you meet friends, your friends meet there. And then you start making more friends, like kind of like that. That's what's finding a community. That's what finding a community feels like to me. Like a little bit when you're when you're being magnetic and you merge in to like this group of friends. And then you could also take it further, kind of like you get your favorite people at work that that are actually your friends, you know, and in life that are actually like your soul tribe friends. And you're like, hey, let's go to let's go to B Dubs. Let's go eat some food, and you all come together. That's the community. That's what a community is over here. You help each other. I mean, how amazing is this? Like for Christmas, this is so great. So for Christmas, like the villagers and stuff and friends were giving away like, like meaningful things, like oranges, like from their trees, beautiful. And they tasted delicious. You know, they're giving, exchanging fruits and they're giving like breads they made. I mean, how awesome is that people were like exchanging like jewelry 
you know, and just like, and just really coming together in, in this, in this, it, it reminded me of old times that we've lived once upon a time ago, where we would barter and exchange and the love was always there. You would help your neighbor, you would help your neighbors, you would see your, your, uh, your neighbor. And I, this takes me back to like, like a village life, um, where you would see where horses, people had horses and, and all I'm seeing is like hills and um, I can't explain the, the life, but it's a long time ago. <laughs> and and it, it, this is where it takes me back to remind me of, of community and connection. And um, the villagers here are absolutely beautiful and they're full of love. Um, they're full of um, just, they sit outside their houses and no phone, they're the, the, the older ones. They're sitting outside of their houses on their porch, not really looking at anything. And you just wonder what they're thinking. And they take take me back in time when we didn't have phones, when we didn't have pagers. Yeah, I went there, pagers. And, <laughs> you know, um, and, and what people used to do. And it, it's inspiring to for me to see this. And I'm just so grateful. So find find what gives you that spark. Um, I know it's winter time and a lot of us are hermit modes and we're still protecting our energy and we're really cautious about who we talk to, what we're what we're talking about, where we're going. But allow yourself, allow yourself, shield and protect, heal what you have to heal. And allow yourself to enjoy life. Allow yourself to, to love others and to be loved unconditionally. And no judgment. Go meet people. Find your tribe that vibes with you. And I know this message has been very long. And those of you who stayed, I see you. I feel you. I love you. For real. We've got this. Energies have been wonky and so have we. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, seriously, it's acceptance of what's going on, the energies and how we we take these energies in. So I send you guys lots of love. I send you guys lots of light. Keep smiling. Find things that make you smile. Get outside and meet some people. I challenge you that. I challenge you to get outside and meet people but when you meet that when you want to talk to people allow your your heart to guide you allow your heart it's kind of like being in first grade and you want to go make a friend and you're kind of like nervous about you're nervous about like talking to somebody I'm not sure how many of you can remember first grade or even third grade but then you get out there and then you make the best friend and that's your best friend for like three, three years, and then they move away, but let's not go there. <laughs> That's a story of, of um, or my childhood. I would meet so many people that were best friends, and then they move away because we're young, you know, and um, we didn't have the technology that we have right now, 717. I've been seeing 717 a lot lately, 555 a lot lately. Anyways, love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being you. Thank you for your emails. Thank you for your love and your good vibes. And thank you for, thank you for just showing up today to be the best version of yourself and recognizing when we're healing and that it's okay. It's okay to, to be weird. It's okay to, um, to express ourselves. It's okay to, to feel the emotions that we've been feeling as we're releasing what no longer serves us. It's okay. And don't feel guilty for feeling these emotions or expressing these emotions. It's healthy. It's healing. It is. Love yourself. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself that you can express yourself because once upon a time, we were not able to free our voice. And that's why we have so much stuck emotion in our stuck, uh, our blocked throat chakra, because we were, we were 
hung, for speaking our voice or trying to speak our voice. We needed to hold in our emotions. Um, this is a lifetime where we are able to channel out and share our emotions and maybe good or bad. Don't judge yourself for how you feel and how you express yourself because this is your healing journey. So each of and every one of us goes through certain phases and then we learn balance. So when we're going through the healing journey, we may find a flux of um, overexpression and I've been there, overexpression of our, of our uh, throat chakra where we talk too much, we say too much, we say it maybe uh, not at the frequency of love, we're just we're learning how to, to speak again. So you're so like, so I'm pushing it out. And then um, I guess it would probably be more low, <laughs> low, low vibration, when, like with no balance and just like whatever you're feeling, it just comes out, no filter, right? And we're finding a way to balance our, our words with our heart instead of being up here that creates blockages. We're learning to be more here and balancing our, our words. So, so when you're on your journey and you're learning how to balance your emotion, your feelings, do not feel guilty for how you, you let go, how you, how you communicate. You can't, you have to allow and accept, um, you're just getting in alignment. You're just bringing in the balance. Um, once upon a time ago, I used to, especially during my activations, I was bringing in so much information uh, and it was about my friends, the people I was in front of out of nowhere, especially at nighttime. That's when the channels were just flowing through. And I would just out of nowhere, I'm talking to somebody and then I would like tell them some stuff. And I'm like, and then I'll just like spit it out because I'd have to hurry up and say it. So I didn't forget it. And I wouldn't process it. Ah, I wouldn't process it. I would just say what was coming in. Shh, shh, there was no filter here. It was just coming in. Boom. <laughs> And it wasn't always good. It wasn't always good. Sometimes it felt like I was calling people shit out. And I'm just like, I was just being the communicator. I was just like, whatever was coming in, I was letting out. <laughs> this was an, this is imbalance. This is, um, but I had to learn over time how to, how to halt <laughs> cracking, how to wait and feel to breathe and let it come in. Let me feel it and then say it in the right way, right? Would love, filter it from my heart instead of just allowing it to come from up here, out, up here, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was not good. Um, I was calling people on their shit and it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun for me and it wasn't fun for them. Um, eventually I learned over time uh, what I needed to do when um, I'm balancing my chakra because I was so stuck with not expressing myself and communicating my whole life. So when I did start communicating, I didn't know how to. So I had to teach myself. I had to remember, remember. So, so it's like teaching, but re really remembering my uh, process. <sighs> Finally, I have balance. So I say less and I, I allow uh, and I shut off. <laughs> I don't want to trust me. It's a lot of energy tuning in to, you know, let it allowing this to be open and just uh, telling people some stuff that they don't need to, they don't really need to hear. Or I told them too much already. And um, you don't want to tell people too much because you could throw them off their path, like real talk. So you want to make sure that you close this off like a faucet when you're connecting with people so you don't accidentally do that. And that's how I found balance. Um, yeah, and always speak with love. So if you're on the, map, the path to balance, balancing your throat chakra, don't feel bad when you're in the process of, of imbalance because in order for you to find balance, you have to know what imbalance is. And then bam, you'll get there. You'll know what I'm talking about. Several of you are know exactly what I'm talking about and several of you are still going through it. Um, and it's okay. Love yourself in a way, no matter what you say, no matter how you feel, this is, this is for you. So, all right, my loves, I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for dropping in. I love you so much. 
stay true to yourself. And, and don't worry, the energies will shift out. If you're on the downswing, the energy is going to shift out because whenever you're on the downswing and you're doing some healing, you're feeling some type of way, that means get excited. Get freaking excited because that means you're about to pillar up and start feeling that high vibration because right now you're releasing that, that suitcase full of bullshit that you don't need. You're allowing yourself to feel it, to heal it. Feel it, to heal it. Feel it, to manifest it. <laughs> so so once you feel it to heal it you let go you release what no longer serves you and then you and then when you're manifesting you got to feel it as if it is and then let it go and that's how manifestation works i love you all okay i'm going now i really i am <laughs>